this illusion is called lost and found. If you knew, illusions are what I call my paintings. It's only fitting, seeing as I am scarred by illusion. The painting differs in the degree of which the body has been. It wasn't really a conscious change, but I think for rendering the sake, it was probably for the best. It's the pose, it's the movement, and the vitality that this captures that really draws me to it. The figure is winding down, faltering with its own strength, rebelling against itself, yet creating its own nature, defining its own existence. Led by the rolling head, the body is compelled forward, the body falling as if it's weightless, on currents of invisible wind or water. It is adrift. The drive that moves it is vaguely familiar. The bend of the body is a subtle shift in perspective and experience. I forgot to mention this is 8x8 eight eight canvas paper, so it's small, but it's not smaller than my previous painting and video, which I had done a 6x8 canvas panel painting. Check that out if it interests you at all. Uh, feel free to peruse my channel. Anyway, I'm hoping working on smaller paintings, I can improve the way that I utilize the space of my work surfaces. But that is just my hope. I did this painting in 15. I did this painting in 52 minutes, and I'm happy with how it turned out. Albeit, it's not my cleanest work. It's elegant to me, pretty yet frayed and contorted by anguish. It's reminiscent of a dancer in some ways, as well as the painting Home of Satellites from my 20 Paintings in 9 Days series. I grew exponentially in that time frame, and I think this is just a proof of it. A bit about my brief painting break. I read The King of Fairy, which I thought would close the series, um, but it only introduced more characters, which I liked more than the main characters, but they probably won't get books of their own, specifically Wynne's eldest brother, Iroquois. I think I got attached to him because he struck me as neurodivergent and also sort of reminded me of myself, which was the, I mean, getting attached to characters that aren't the focus of the story is an issue that I had with the Invisible Library, which also featured Faye slash fairy figures um with the invisible library i wanted more of kai's character and his backstory being that he was a dragon and within like that, that series it was there was dragons there were dragons and there were fae and then there were humans and the fairy represented chaos and the dragons represented order but i never got i never got that book just about kai irene's character really blocked me Maybe I liked him. He was sort of the strong silent type, which aligns with my interest in, like, Samurai Shamu's Mugen and Afro Samurai's Afro. So maybe I do have a type fictionally, not in the real world, though. Um, it's hard reading books when you aren't really attached to the main characters. And with the Invisible Library series, I don't know if it was poor writing, but... It wasn't until like several books in that I realized, and it was the first mention I can recall of Irene having an accent being that she was British. And I'm like, that's kind of vital to character development that you mention something like that earlier on, at least in my mind. But it made me like her less. Not that I have anything against the British, but it just like, oh, it really like brought her character to life in a way that was like, oh yeah, I really don't like her. But I was attached to the plot and I'm like, oh, where's this going? But then it never really, it never really took off for me. There were high points, but it just, it sputtered out. <sighs> and during the break, I also watched Nope for the first time. The alien just annoyed me, but to be honest, I really felt bad for the chimp and those horses. Like, was animal cruelty slash exploitation meant to be the underlying message? I don't know, that's what I took away from that movie. Well, and the sort of corruption of media, like the need to document any and everything with the TMZ guy, no matter how morbid. Um, anyway, if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.